I mean, epic is a relative term. And I think everyone's got their own individual answer to that question or own experience as why they'd come out to a place like this. I think the future of this place is gonna be big. As a guide, right in the beginning, I think it was maybe my fifth tour that I took out, it was an older couple where they had a bucket list. We're talking an 87 year old and a 92 year old, and that 92 year old was suited with an oxygen tank because she had respiratory issues. Seeing that they could still have fun and knock stuff off their bucket list on an obstacle course like this, that alone you go home pretty satisfied. If you want to push your limits, get yourself to that said edge. Just like the name presents, you know, it is the Edge Adventure Park. My name is Nick Esposito. Started as a guide, worked my way all the way up through management at this company here, then went into installation, sales, trainings, inspections. Uh, what I'm doing now is basically project management and sales. So growing up, it was, uh, it was, it was kind of a trip because I'm always on this, this rush for an adrenaline rush. So seeking that thrill, you know, some people find that with partying, going to concerts, different stuff like that. I find it outdoors, wilderness, whether I'm in the mountains by myself or with the dogs out hiking, doing some climbing trips, or whether I'm at a commercial park like this where you get to be around a bunch of other people. We are in the back end of Philip S. Miller Park. We've got a zip line course here of 10 different zip lines an adventure tower which we have up behind us here multiple jump stations climbing panels rock walls stuff like that and then up the hill to our right is a bunch of uh, obstacles on a massive obstacle course we would go to those conferences meet with different builders manufacturers park owners resort owners and then go from there sometimes you get actual parks like this where it's a city park and they want to come in and build something where the town could come in and they could also make a little bit of money and have a, a direct source of entertainment. Red is taking me up the stairs and around all of the walkways, whether it's just the staircases or these interior walkways. Once you get to a gate and you clip into the exterior line, you get all the way out to where your obstacles are actually located. We've got green, blue, and black. So first and foremost, we've got our easiest obstacle, which you can see right here, is just a balance bridge. This one is gonna have green keys, like right here. Green is your easiest obstacle. On every single level of these obstacle courses, you have three different difficulties. So you can come up through the entire course and do all the greens, advance to the, to the blues, and then over to the blacks before you're even completed. Most of our guests are just outdoorsy in nature and love having fun outside. I'm Adam White. I'm the general manager here at the Edge Zip Lines and Adventures. All of our activities kind of add a more adventurous experience that they usually have never tried before. I think our biggest pull is for families and individuals that kind of want to push the limits, get outside their comfort zone a little bit, and have an awesome shared experience with their friends and family. My name is Gilbert Smith, and my occupation is that I'm an MMA coach and a retired fighter. The Edge, to me, was one of the perfect scenarios for me because I was able to, one, <laughs> get a great workout. My forearms are super pumped. I face my, my fears of heights and having to jump off and leap off and repel off those things. It was, it was a blessing. I'm totally having a great time. Not only I would do it again, I'm actually gonna go back home and I'm gonna bring some of my other guys that I train with and we could do like a big group thing. I think everybody could take a lot of things from this experience. My name is Christopher Wally. I'm an outdoor adventure coordinator with Epic Colorado Adventures. 
started out with just our zipline tours and uh, added on from there, but it is still our most popular activity. Ten different ziplines, we start out low and slow to ease guests into that uh, maybe haven't been ziplining before, uh, before we move up to several more thrilling, fast ziplines over a thousand feet long. We end with a dual race line, uh, where you'll be able to challenge one other person in your group to a race to finish out the tour. Uh, it's a 1,500 foot uh, zip line that uh, you can see speeds up to 50 miles an hour. Uh, really great way to end the tour. Um, a lot of guests find that as, a, as an awesome way to round out the, the whole experience. The Ninja Warrior course that we have right now is truly epic. We have our warped wall of 10, 12, and 14 feet tall. We have our salmon ladder. We go into the sonic curve, which leads you over to the spider web netting. And then we have our 80 foot rope climb up to Mount Colorado Midoriyama. We've got Ninja Warriors champion Caden Lebsack and Kevin Cardone, which have agreed to design and expand our current obstacle course. Whether you want to run a couple sessions or just try out an obstacle. If you're looking for a rush or looking for a way to push yourself out of your comfort zone, this is the place to be. This park is for everybody.